Hi scholars, I hope you must be doing great. In today's video, I am going to tell you about the easiest way to make the referencing in a specific format. If you do not know how to make the references to any of referencing software like EndNote or Mendeley, and also you do not have the expertise that how to do it manually, then I would recommend you to use this technique of Google Scholar for your referencing. But if you ask my personal advice, I would still recommend you to learn at least one software because once you are done with the referencing through EndNote or Mendeley, it allows you to make the changes in the referencing style of the whole document just in clicks. But in today's video, we will specifically talk about how to make the referencing through Google Scholar. So let's proceed and see how to done it with Google Scholar. Before proceeding further, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please hit and subscribe. And remember to click the bell icon to receive the notification of every new video. So here we have five references and we want to change them in APA. So let's go open your browser. In order to find Google Scholar, just go to Google. And here you can type Google Scholar. So this is the first website, you can open it. And alternatively, you can use this link scholar.google.com just to open this Google Scholar. Now, what we will do, just go to the first reference, copy, and paste it over here. When you search it, you find it like this and from here you can, if you want to see the actual source, it will take you to that website and this is how it leads you to this article. But if you want to copy just the reference in different styles, just go over here, just so you can see the commas, click it and here you will find its this article reference in different styles like MLA, APA, Chicago, Harvard and Vancouver. So just go and copy APA and paste it in your document. Maybe we can create another page. APA. We have pasted our first reference in APA. Then go to second, copy, and again paste it here at Google Scholar. And again, it will uh, lead you to this page. Then go to commerce and select APA. Copy and paste it over here. But you can see here is a problem that you can see the page number is not the not correct because it should be in a sequence like from you can see the first reference 1 to 9 so it must be 592 and some uh, like 600 or whatsoever. Actually, this problem happened only with those articles, those journals that are listed in American Psychological Association. So let's just open it. Sorry, my bad speed of internet. So from here, you can see, yes, the exact page number which we need to write in APA style, that, that must be 592.598. So it's a good idea just to open this page and just look 598 and then go back. So we can just do it manually. 
598 at least just happen with those journals that are listed in american psychological association if you find any such mistake just go back and look it here whenever you are using google scholar around 95% of our references are correct but in some cases you need to carefully look whether is if there is anything missing just go to the original source and just collect the relevant information and put it in your references so <clears throat> go to the reference and here you can see we do not have any page number uh, we just have the title uh, author name year and just the journal name but still you can find the complete reference through google scholar so we will we will go here and paste it and search and from here you will find in apa style it's very simple just copy and paste it in your document and next is the test third reference uh, no no that's we already done with third reference now we need to proceed with next one and copy and although it is in APA but in different style that is required by academia management but we want to make them in the same style as we have written in our document just paste and search so just go to here commas just click and copy and finally paste in your document and finally the last reference we do not have anything just the author's names and the year this is also very useful in a, like um, if we need to search out uh, this reference it will be very difficult for us but through google scholar we can easily trace out such kind of things like we we already missed while writing our literature so we will just right and put that thing over here and search and yes you can see we can find the complete reference go to commas and copy and paste it in your document so if you are new to google scholar i hope this video will be useful for you to make your referencing in a specific format which is required by your university or general you are you are going to submit thanks for watching